Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 20. All right. The previous episode um we got a, a story, not a story, but a backstory of Aizawa and present Mike's friend Oboro, I think that was his name, who Kurogiri is supposed to be Oboro. That's what we got to know in the previous episode. Now, there were uh you know like by the end of it it was kind of proof that it re really was oboro the same oboro which who lost his life and so this means they are actually kind of making um, you know like uh, uh reanimating i think dead people in a way so that uh like you know like that's the base uh base of nomus all the nomus Kurogiri, i think is supposed to be a special nomu in a way because he can actually interact with others and you know walk talk and act like a normal person uh whereas the other nomus are basically driven by instincts so yeah like that was like you know kurogiri and we can see that you know there's like a little switch inside kurogiri which if you know if someone tries to make him remember forcefully who he is it kind of switch he kind of switches back and forth and it kind of triggers where he actually by the end of it he forgets that you know what he was talking about like we saw when he was almost remembering suddenly something happened and he like reverted back and he was like what are you saying and then he again reverted back and they were very close to actually like you know making him aware self-aware but unfortunately it did not happen and i'm sure they'll try again and again in the future hopefully some results will come in some good results and uh, i don't even know what they're going to do if they are able to actually bring him back like what happens after that like he's supposed to be dead so will he die after that or what will happen like we don't know so that's another thing that is kind of a concern so i'm sure we'll get to know more stuff about this in the future episodes but yeah that was that and uh, we also get to see why aizawa is you know so you know, serious about stuff and uh, because like you know of Oboro's death all that things yeah that was that and then in the end we actually see um you know like some experimentation going on so on uh like you know like i don't know if uh like you know the league of villains know what's happening so let's see i'm sure we're going to get some answers in this episode so let's check this out so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 20 of my hero academia season 5 I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown three, two, one, go. Oh my god, it's loud. Oh god. Do the League of Villains know that this is happening to Shigaraki? New stage. What? About two months ago, a certain day. Oh, what was his name? I forgot. Um. I completely forgot his name. God. I think it was something like Titan Omega, something Giganto Omega, something like that. I can't remember. We saw him before, you know, in I think it was in season four. Uh, like Grand Torino had a fight with him.
Hmm. All right, here it is. Okay, let's see whether everything is with his consent or not. <laughs> Hmm. Um. What? Whoa. What? Oh. Damn, he's crazy. He's not only big, he's crazy. Okay. <laughs> wow Gigantomachia, yeah <laughs> All from his bodyguard Multiple quirks Without modification Oh <laughs> Overly strong. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, wow. Oh. <laughs> Wait, was that pre-recorded? I think. <laughs> yeah, it was pre-recorded. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what? Was he? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, whoa, this happened before! Compress! Whoa, 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 what the? Whoa, what is this? Oh, these are no moves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's obvious. Super no moves. Oh. Duplicate. Father? What? Wait, what? Father? Ujikota. Huh. Um. Whoa, what was that?
put everyone on my anger whoa 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 are we going to get his backstory i'm really interested in that okay here it is we are going to get it Wow. I wonder. Boku ga iru. Hmm. Huh. Wow. Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Evil. So those were his family. All that breathe irritating. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Oh. Minimum rank. Oh, and Gigantomaker will also, yeah, will also listen to start listening to him. Oh. <laughs> oh, we know who that is. Ah. I end. What the?
Johnny. Ah, boy. My villain academy. What? <laughs> My vi wait. What the hell? My villain academia. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, nice. Boy, he's just brute strength. Future King is in trouble. <laughs> hmm. Month and a half. Whoa. Yes. Why not attack at that? I don't know. No, they themselves will be very tired at that moment. Oh. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, he she's <laughs> Wow. But, nah, they're very weak. They need rest. Um, what the hell is that? What the? Who? Oh no. Another finger. Oh! Be this oh okay oh there's still a flashback going on liberate meta power Yeah. 
ایران ویت ا منیٹ او مائی گاڈ What? Oh, okay, that's why. Hmm. Oh, wow, they are actually blackmailing them. <laughs> What? Wait, wait, weren't they on the same team? That means... No. <laughs> oh <laughs> took the mask off <laughs> wait why not use gigantomachia to <laughs> you know lure him in Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Too much HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's what I was saying. Lure him in. <laughs> And then strike both of them. Then take ah uh. <laughs> wow <laughs> wow okay that was episode twenty of my villain acad academia <laughs> oh maybe no maybe episode one of my villain academia you can say that and. <laughs> Okay, so this will continue in the next episode. So, <laughs> I I love the fact that they called it my villain academia. Wow, <laughs> God, that was all right. Okay, so here we actually get to know what, how they're connected. Okay, so that means they were not like on the same team, like, um. I'm sure we're going to get more clarification in the future in the next episode because all this time I've been thinking that they were 
working together so i'm guessing i'm not sure if they're still working together or not but at least at the beginning they were not working together they have this, had this conflict going on so the next episode will answer a lot of questions i'm guessing so okay all right that's the end okay <laughs> they really changed it to my villain academia what the hell <laughs> okay wow all right <laughs> I really like it. it's really funny I don't know why for me that they're like calling this my villain academia I never expected that but you know all right okay so this episode here um we get the background of everything and I'm still not sure why Shiguraki is being experimented upon in the previous episode I'm sure we're going to get further clarification in the next episode how he is at the state he is now you know like getting experimented on so i I'm, like i'm kind of thinking maybe that was something that he himself told doctor to do you know like for probably like you know like for getting more power or something must be something like that but yeah all right okay so here we met giganto makia and uh, he and doctor so we get to the doctor's laboratory he explains stuff and we get a little bit of a glimpse of uh all for one and shigaraki's interaction how they met now uh, wait 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 just a second what was his name denko shimura denko Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I I got a little bit of confused. I like you know, like I thought that like why why is his name Tenko? Like I felt as if I've heard that somewhere, you know. And then I realized that no, I've not heard Tenko somewhere before. It was Inko, like you know Deku's mom's name. I was confusing it with that. You know, I was thinking like where have I heard Tenko before? and uh, then i realized that no i've not heard tenko before but i've heard Ingo. that's his name uh, that's her name isn't it deku's mom's name inko isn't it let me check double check just a sec um just a second oh god my internet is yeah inko <laughs> Uh, for a moment there I thought that what like is this some kind of connection and then I thought that no like I like it's just my <laughs> my mistake anyways all right so yeah uh, Tenko Shimura uh, that was his name before and we all know that uh, Shigaraki is uh, uh, like you know is related to Nana you no know, Nana Shimura and we know that so one thing I'm wondering like this Nana is his grandmother isn't it or, or am i mistaken i think so that means he is the child of nana's children child i think I'm kind of getting confused I'm, I'm kind of scared to actually <laughs> go and look at the um yeah, like I'm, I'm actually scared to go and search this on the internet because My Hero Academia has a lot of spoilers and I'm sure I'm going to get spoiled about something else if I try to actually go and search it up on the internet. So I'm not going to do that. So anyways, um, <clears throat> so yeah, as I was saying, so as far as I can remember, you can like, you know, let me know in the comment section. Uh, in, uh, uh, Nana Shimura is his grandma and that means his, his dad and mom, either of them, was Nana Shimura's child, I think. So now, so here's the thing: uh, the the hands that he always uses, those are um, part of his family. 
i think okay one thing that we got here in this episode was a little flashback when we were seeing the doctor come in and all for one say that this is the remains of your family and then we see like you know uh, Sh uh shigaraki kind of holding his head and it's like cracking but there's a lot of things that we can actually see in this scene there's a little dog that we see he's seeing there's someone there's a lady who has a crack in her eye it seemed as if most probably it is the uh, result of uh, shigaraki's decay and then there's someone's hand which which has crumbled again must be the result of shigaraki's decay okay then there's a man we can see i don't know if that's his dad or someone else but okay then we can see a little girl I'm not sure who that is. Oh, we can see the girl a lot of times now. Uh, yeah, she's crying and. OK, then we see that man again, I think. Yeah, like trying to slap him or something. There's another person on the left. I'm not sure what who that is. OK, that was it those were like as he says the fragmented images that he saw uh, in his memories now i'm sure we're going to get more clarification who they are how they're connected to shigaraki probably in the future episodes when we get to learn more about his past so but one thing that we know those are parts of his family most probably and uh, okay uh one thing i don't know i this is it i feel as if they said something i can't remember uh about his dad like you know like how's your dad or something that just like i need to find that portion Here it is. He says that I your he, he tells Shigaraki, I your father and the rest well. And Shigaraki is like, huh? He thinks about something and then says, yeah. Now here's the thing. Now, what does he mean by his dad? We never seen his dad before, and I doubt he's calling all for one his dad because he calls all for one his master or sensei you know so the person who he the doctor is talking about is obviously not all for one it's someone else who he mentioned as shigaraki's dad kind of a thing that i like you know like noticed so a little mystery here like who is this dad that he's talking about it is is it really his like you know, uh, like you know, like actual dad or someone that he calls dad. Like that's that's the question here, because you know, like uh, uh, later on we actually see him, you know, like um, uh, in the flashback that all for one, uh, like those hands were actually parts of his family. So that's the question. Like, is this this dad that he said his actual dad or is it someone else? I don't know, but yeah like uh, like you know when he says that is your dad and the rest fine shigaraki kind of get confused in the beginning he's like huh and then he actually realized and it clicks in his head something happens and he says he, he says that yeah so i'm guessing that's not his actual dad that he's talking about it's most probably someone else that he calls dad or something i don't know i might be wrong though so okay and that and um now it actually this like looking at this episode it actually makes you realize that however hard the heroes work they cannot save everyone you know there's always that one kid or someone who like you know who who never gets saved and that's a what can i say like nothing nothing can be done about it it's sad in a way because 
uh like with so many like things happening and uh, obviously the heroes are not omnipotent gods they are they obviously they won't be able to help each and every one so there's always that one or two victims you know for example shigaraki here who always gets the short end of the stick and like you know like bad people like all for one takes advantage of that you know as we saw that he comes here and he says that oh like you know like um the heroes did not help you like that's so sad but don't worry i am here <laughs> yeah boku ga kita uh anyways um so that's like you know that's what we see here now obviously shigaraki at that moment he's just an individual and he is in a bad position he's in a bad state and you know like a lot of things has like gone through him and he like no one helped him so obviously he's going to take the hand whoever that is be it the god or be it the devil he's going to take the hand and help like you know in in wishes of getting like you know saved and he took that hand and obviously at that moment like you know since all for one was there he what can i say like you know he became uh, loyal to him he became like you know he actually like you know he started getting brainwashed to think not brainwashed but you know like uh, what do you call it like um since all for one was there for him he started um you know hating the heroes and the way all for one like said that oh the heroes were not not there to help you but i'm here i'll help you he started thinking that yeah like the heroes like obviously never helped me so like you know like all for one was there in my like you know need so i i i'll like you know listen to all for one i'll help him and i'll destroy the heroes ne like you know never realizing that that in itself was a trick that all for one like you know played on him like he took advantage of him in that situation he did not save him he just took advantage of him and like you know made like you know used him to actually get back at all might and like 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 i'm i'm talking about the hypothetical situation if if the heroes actually came and helped shigaraki you know obviously shigaraki won't be like this you know he would have gotten saved and he would have probably gotten a better life and who knows maybe he would have been uh, deku's classmate you know so at that moment what would have all for one done nothing he would have just went on to a next target like if he was unable to get shigaraki for himself he would have probably search start searching for some other victim who is uh, like you know someone who never got saved by the heroes and he would take advantage of that kid and like you know brainwash him into making uh, a, a someone who he could use against all might that's all that would have happened so yeah like it's just all might uh, all for one taking advantage of shigaraki and this is what can i say like if shigaraki was saved he would have probably gone for some other target so that really shows how much of an evil character all for one is like not only he does evil stuff he manipulates people he uh, what can i say like you know like plays with other people's emotions and all because i remember that uh, scene and in i think it was in season 4 or 3 i can't remember i think it was 4 where like you know all for one and all might fights it was in 3 after season 3 all for one and uh, all might fights um he says laughing you know laugh like in laughing he says that oh like you know who shigaraki actually is is nana shimura's um uh, grand uh, grandson i think grandson it was i, I can't remember but yeah like uh, you know he's related to nana shimura and uh, then he was like you know so all might started uh, all for one started laughing and said that uh yeah this is the face that i wanted to see when i like you know told you i wanted like you know like i wanted to see how you would react if i made him your ultimate enemy or something like that he started saying so yeah he just took advantage of shigaraki's weakness at that moment but unfortunately i'm not sure if shigaraki realizes i'm sure he realizes that but i'm sure he doesn't care you know he, like he like grew up in such a situation that even if he knows that all for one is actually using him he wouldn't care his loyalty and his what can i say is so strong for all for one you know like he wouldn't care so 
yeah, sad. Like he, he's he's just a victim of the circumstance, and victim of all for one as well. So, like, you know, like it actually makes you feel like that. Like how all for one actually take advantage of him, uh, his weakness, and just made him into a puppet of his. Anyways, okay, so that and now Giganto Machia, we are seeing like you know them fight, and uh, <laughs> this really was my villain academy as we see, <laughs> you know all the um, villains interacting and stuff. All right, and here we actually get to see the background how they like you know uh, how the Liberation Army and them actually know each other, and they look like they are at odds and very big odds, and I'm sure like you know like Shigaraki will go in the next episode. Use Gigantomachia as you said as a lure and probably use Gigantomachia to wipe out all the like, you know the liberation army and then he'll use like you know his tiredness uh, And take advantage of it and defeat Gigantomachia and also defeat the liberation army boss He'll probably be planning something like this Hopefully it goes well and it goes as he plans it to but I don't know you know and I'm quite quite curious as to what would happen after this because I'm still not sure whether the Liberation Army, like currently, presently, whether the Liberation Army and the villains are actually working together or not, or are they like two different, um, uh, like you know, teams? Because in this episode, we like you know, it, it was clear that they are at odds with each other. Like the Liberation Army, that guy, he, he just said that yeah, like, we're going to defeat you. Uh, either you get defeated by us, or you get defeated by the uh, heroes. So. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. I'm I'm sure we'll get our answers. And this episode also like since it makes us realize that the villains here, like, they also really do care about their friends. You know, like it's kind of like Deku's team. You no, know, Shigaraki being the main centerpiece here, center character, central character here, and all the other characters here. You know, like I'm sure all of them are, you know, the victim of the circumstances. All on there like we got a little bit of um, backstory of twice we know that and a few other characters as well but they themselves are a victim of the circumstances and Shigaraki helped them so say so they are actually working with him now obviously Shigaraki helping them I'm sure it was Shigaraki who helped them I think so at least um Shigaraki helping them and like at least from his mannerisms and his like you know behavior one thing I can say that Shigaraki really does care about them in a way as the teammates you know so that's one thing and unlike all for one who just uses people as their as his personal I don't know puppets but Shigaraki here is quite different in that manner because he actually I think does care about them uh, you know so yeah <laughs> it's basically my hero academia my villain academia <laughs> my god it's funny so yeah, that was a good plan, by the way, using Giganto Machia. I, I also kind of said that in the beginning, like, you know, like they can just lure Giganto Machia to them and defeat them. So, yeah, and that's what they're going to do. All right, I think that was it. And, uh, yeah, so that was it, guys. So, that was my reaction to episode number. 20 of my hero academia so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day